Hi guys, welcome to Chutes Online. Today I'm going to talk about the zygomatic bone. This is a paired bone. It articulates with the frontal bone the temporal bone the sphenoid bone and the maxillary bone. It can be confused with the frontal bone, the maxillary bone, and also the scapula. Here we're looking at the ectocranial surface of the zygomatic bone, and we need to orientate it first, so we'll look at these processes to do that. Superiorly, we have the frontal process. Posteriorly, we have the temporal process. And anteriorly, we have the maxillary process. To tell whether this is the ectocranial surface, we look for these two foramen. The first one on the outside of the bone is called the zygomaticofacial foramen. And the one that sits in the orbit is referred to as the zygomaticoorbital foramen. Now we're looking at the temporal aspect of the zygomatic bone. First we need to orientate it, so again we look for the processes. Superiorly we have the frontal process. Anteriorly we have the maxillary process. And posteriorly we have the temporal process. On the temporal aspect, we have the articulation with this sphenoid bone, which is marked here. There is also a foramen on the inside of this bone. This is called the zygomaticotemporal foramen. And with these two features, we can tell that this is the temporal aspect of this bone. And that about wraps it up for the zygomatic bone. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.